Thank you. What's up guys, it's Gabe here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are here for the first game of this three game set against the Houston Astros. And I already kind of know how this one's gonna turn out. Hope, hoping for the best on this one. It is fireworks night. And in the section 138, we have New Oakland. We're gonna go talk to Brian and see what that's about. There's a lot of things that's happened since my last video. I reached 3,000 subscribers and then I passed that. And then I hit my goal of 3,500. 3, and then I hit my new, newest goal as uh, 4,000. So I just want to say thank you guys for taking the time to watch my content and subscribing. Uh, it means a lot. It really does. And I'm grateful to have you guys here now. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go see what this new Oakland is about. Also, the A's just dropped renderings of the Las Vegas site. It is very depressing to see. Uh, so we're going to see some reactions from some of our A's faithful here and see how they feel about those renderings. What's up, Pinhead? Yo, what's up, YouTube? You want to explain to YouTube what New Oakland is? Uh, yeah. New, sorry, I just popped a glow stick. Um, New Oakland is uh, New Oakland on the block. So it's a little tip of the cast of Zach Geloff and Lawrence Butler. So what we did is uh, we decided to put a little New Oakland on Old Oakland. And this is uh, goes out to those two guys. Thank you for the inspiration. And also it's uh, New Oakland on the block theme night because it's popped through the decades and uh, you know, new kids on the block is the best. That's and new right. addition, but you know. And good. I heard you had new pins? Oh yeah, yeah, we got new pins. Check this out, folks. That's hella cool. Yeah, so people that will be stopping by 138 will get one of those. It's uh, pretty dope. Just like the shirt. And make sure you, uh, a night on the town drop today. So if you haven't, go check out that collection. Don't forget folks, life begins. No, no, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay, you, sorry. You're doing it too uh, early. Like subscribe though. Let's go. Hello, Bieber. What's up? It's just, it's just Bieber. Come on. A's game. It's just Bieber. I can't. I can't even finish what I was gonna say. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. It's like, baby, baby. I'm with Justin Bieber. I have Billie Eilish, and I have Britney Spears. Is your, is your, uh, your date, uh, Amy Whitehouse? This is Amy Whitehouse. What's up? Amy, what were you looking for? I was looking for something to, you know, you know. I heard, I heard a homeboy over there got it. With that the blue. Yeah. Not his robe, I don't I'm not thinking that. No? What about the other one? The one next to him. I don't even know who that is. Who's that name? I don't know. <laughs> Justin's having a good time over there. <laughs> James Caprillion is getting himself into some trouble here. We got runners on first and second with, of course, nobody out. And we have Jose Abreu, who could possibly do some damage. Oh, no. At the wall. Caught at the wall. Runners tag, though. Let's go, James. Uh, and there it is. And we're losing. Wonderful. There we go. Alrighty. We're only losing by one. Yeah, uh, they just kind of fell apart as usual. Uh, a couple runs scored, and it's uh, it's five to zero now. All right, guys. So I am currently sitting in right field. This is not where I sit, but behind me I got the Oakland 68s leader George. How's it going? Doing, doing great, man. Well, kind of good. You know, bittersweet times out here. To come see I came over here because we're here to promote June 13th, and George has a shirt he wants to show off, and he wants to let you guys know where you can get it and how you can get it. These are these are like supreme shirts right now. So come to June 13th and receive a free shirt from us, the 68s and Oakland, and we're gonna try and, and, and raise funds if 
guys, if we want to have the college team packed with these shirts, then we need to raise funds and we need y'all help. So we'll have people at each gate handing these out. Uh, so come through. The only way to get them is to come through June 13th. We are not going to ship them. They're not shipping them. You got to come to the Coliseum, pack out the Coliseum. And because we're here to make a point that if we had different ownership, there would be people here at the Coliseum. But thank you again, George. And I appreciate everyone that's fighting for this fucking team because this team belongs to Noki. One love to game. So this is what it's like to be right field, Will. Hey, there he is. Right field, Will. Sitting right in right field for once. Hey, how you doing out there, bro? I thought I decided to visit you over here. It feels weird, but... Hey, you're in the good side of the bleachers. Just kidding. Last time, Bart did a great job. You do a great job. Follow him on YouTube, folks. He's the man. Thank you. Thank you for coming out the right. Well, look at that. Five to two. As we're walking back to our actual seats. This is the best walkthrough feeling ever. Maybe without the security guard here, but... Well, I come back and we don't score. Let's go, Ruiz! Look at that, look at that. nice! Yeah! There we go. We're going down to the bottom of the ninth inning. The A's are losing. Here's Ryan Presley now to Carlos Perez. And uh, there he goes. Well, that is the ball game, folks. Ramon strikes out to end this game, and the A's. At least I got Justin Bieber singing to me. Love you, Justin. The A's now drop 10 and 43, lose 5 to 2. What a terrible, terrible team this is. It's been 91 years since a team has been this great in, you know, the option dress. Never heard of that. 91 years of greatness. Hey, at least we didn't get no hit. Or shut out. <laughs> or shut out. All right, guys, well, the video's not over yet but because we still got fireworks tonight. While we wait for the fireworks, let's take a look back at some of our fellow A's fans to see their reactions on these renderings in Las Vegas. Also, Brian, I was talking to the, the fans out here about the renderings. What do you think about that? Yo, those renderings are a joke. It's supposed to be on nine acres, right? That looks like like 40 acres. Looks like they asked the computer to like, make a rendering of the Coliseum. Dave Cavill and whoever hired some guy to pay a couple thousand dollars to do that, like a bunch of idiots, it's basically the same damn thing. Pretty Fuck much. Cavill. Fuck John Fisher. They're one of the worst renderings I've ever seen, and I'm not saying that because I'm biased towards, you know, keeping the team in Oakland, uh, but they're pretty horrible. It looks like they just Googled stadiums and just threw something in there. It doesn't look like a real stadium at all. The upper deck looks like it's like a hundred rows across. You'd have to like say, excuse me, 50 times. We could have done a better job at lastnightbar.com. That shit was a joke. I'm sorry, it was. I thought there was some kind of fancy dome coming over the top. I thought something kind of like a Fremont type experience. Uh, very unimpressed because it looks like all they did is copy and paste what the existing field looks like. The ground still the same. They, they could have done a little bit better. I, Coliseum is way better looking too. So, uh, my opinion, it is what it is. The renderings don't mean shit. It, it, there's, it's vague, it's terrible. Ah, uh, they can keep that shit. Fuck John Fisher. Fuck Dave Cavill. Fuck the front office. Uh, <laughs> hey, no pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. Go. It You're always on my mind. <laughs> That's it? That's it, man. That's all you get. That's all you get. Ah, That's boom. all you get. Cut. Cut.
Alright guys, so this is where my video is gonna end. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for what it's like to be an Ace fan. Don't forget guys, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I'll see you guys tomorrow for game two. Peace out, y'all. Had to get away from all that toxic energy. I've been out the way, but I still know they're feeling me. I feel like a god, I'm talking about the